Tittlinny Hahn, and this is my busy garden. If you listen carefully, and not just on this video, but on others too, you may be able to hear this awful background racket. Listen. You hear it? Qua, qua, qua. Let me show you what it is. That tree at the front of the house houses I don't know how many rooks. And they make a horrendous noise most days of the morning and night. Sometimes on an evening they swoop about all over the place. And maybe one evening I'll get the camera out and try and video them for you. It's been very unseasonably mild here this week and I'll show you the results of some of that mildness a bit later on. I was hoping to get the lawn cut today, but as you can see, it's a bit too wet for that. But there is other work I can do on the lawn. Take this border for example. As you can see, the edges are a bit scraggy really and I need to tidy them up. So I've bought a load of these interlocking edging strips, which hopefully should keep the edges neat and tidy. I'll start at this end of the border and I'm going to put them in what you might consider to be upside down because I want this surface to be level with the top of the grass. So first thing I need to do is to make like a little slit or a little trench here that I can put these into. And that's why I've got this. It also has the advantage, of course, that it stops the grass spreading into the border, as well as keeping the border neat and tidy. Now let's see if we can hammer it in. The interlocking end, of course, away from the start. Hmm. That's about as deep as it's going to go, so I think I'll pull this out and try again. Make my little trench a bit deeper. Smashing. This kind of fits in with my longer term strategy, which is to replace this grass, for that's what it is, with a better lawn. Something that's uh, free of weeds is a, is a good start. So, on with the rest of the task, accompanied by those damn rooks. piece to size with a pair of tin snips. All right, now all I need to do is go around and pick up these bits and tidy up. Well, I think that's an awful lot neater and it's certainly going to help keep things tidy next year. But I'm not finished yet. I want to roll. Okay, okay, I think you've got the idea by now, so I'm going to stop there. I said earlier I'd show you what the mild weather's done to the garden this week, so let's go and have a look. There be shoots on the bird cherry. Some very early narcissus, but they look a bit moth eaten to be honest. Then there's a few mini narcissus. Narcissi, narcissus. A few brave primroses or primulas sticking their head out. After I cleared the lavender, these purple crocuses have gone crazy. Ooh, look! Insects in the garden. In fact, almost everywhere I look there are buds. This garden could transform dramatically in the next couple of weeks if we continue with this nice mild weather. in the greenhouse again and the mild weather has prompted me to take the risk and plant some courgette plants. I'm just going to plant up half a dozen seeds here. This is a variety called all green bush. I've no idea whether it's any good but I'm going to take the seed 
and push it down into the compost. Poke, there we go, down to about an inch depth. Poke. I didn't grow any courgettes last year, but I do love courgettes as a vegetable. They bake really well, and I've got a lovely recipe which I'm going to share with you on Titley's Busy Kitchen in the next week or so. Give them a good watering and pop them next to the leeks. Now another noise you might be able to hear in the background is a buzzing noise. Can you hear it? Last year I had an infestation of flies in the greenhouse. It's a kind of fly that swarms and, and just makes its home in houses and roofs. I'm hoping I'm not going to get the same again this year. But to try and combat that at least a little bit, I'm going to put up some fly papers. Oh, these things are fun. They're even less fun when you get your hair stuck on them. It has been known to happen. These things are really very good at catching flies. And if you have a fly problem in your house, then I can recommend the tried and trusted old fashioned method. Bwahahaha! <laughs> Eat sticky death, you hideous flies. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. We'll see what happens next week and see what the weather does. So join me next week in Titley's busy garden. <laughs>